Hello, everybody. I pulled out uh, some early 90s to late 90s Win Ross collectible trucks. These are uh, first editions and Highway Pioneer uh, historical series. So there's quite a few of them, but I'm, I'm going to break these up because there were 68 trucks in this collection. All of them uh, different years and different types of packaging. I separated that, but to keep the video, uh, you know, under the 30 minute mark, I'm going to uh, just shoot uh, the series. So this one is like one through 15, but there's a couple of them missing. I didn't make a note of which ones those are, but we'll get to that. So I'm just going to start. I'll show you the boxes. So this is number one. And I'll take one out and show you what that is. Neat little certificates in there. ATI. And they have little opening doors on the back. And little stands. These are uh, these are definitely vintage, and they have just beautiful craftsmanship on them. See the little tanks and rubber tires. And headlights and they just put a lot of a lot of energy into them. I found this little uh, Hot Wheels City on uh, on the marketplace and went out and bought it from a lady that was selling it. And uh, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of the scale. And brought it back just so I could have a better backdrop. I don't know if you've seen that uh, Hot Wheels, but he's got a neat backdrop. I was trying to find one of those little road mats to put it on so it's a little nicer. But anyway, we'll get through these pretty quick. Uh, so I'm not going to take all of them out of the boxes. I'm just going to show you the certificates and the uh, rigs because I've gone through them and they basically are all the same heavy die cast little vintage trucks okay so that was number one this is number two in the series oh forgot the, put that back in the box This one, there is a certificate. It's in the back behind the rig, but this is the uh, dual trailer. And it has the uh, little truck dolly down here. And it's a little single axle double trailer. And the certificate looks like it's in the back of the box there. But all this has uh, the original packaging. All of these do. <clears throat> number three in the series Try not to drop anything this one has a little more paperwork has a certificate and a little Win Ross card there three it's orange and white humping to please Campbell Express pretty nice little rig okay, so that's number three number four in the highway series the packaging is in excellent shape on these. <clears throat> this one has a 
certificate in it. Mason Dixon. It's a red, little red rig. When you, uh, you want to see any of these in greater detail, just go to the Lucky Picker. It's the store address is ebay.com str it's forward slash str forward slash the lucky picker and so that's ebay.com forward slash str forward slash the lucky picker so this is number five so so far we've got all of them in the series A little Win Ross certificate in here. That one looks pretty. It's probably upside down. A little Win Ross certificate in there. These are little full rovers. America's favorite collectible one. A little bit of information there. Navajo. I think I saw another Navajo. This one's a different color. Nice little certificate in there. Baby blue. And the back door's open. Okay, so here's the next one coming up and this one is a longer box and this is number six so i'll lay it in here this way so there's the highway number six and uh, this one comes in a, a larger box so let's see what we got on this one specter red ball there's a certificate in there. And it's got a, I guess all the information on the back as well. And it is also a little double. Nice little pipes and stacks on there and rims. Nice paint job. Got the little truck dolly. I mean, for as old as these are, 32, 40 years old, they are in excellent shape. So this is another one of those sets. I don't believe that the collector uh, opened. <clears throat> he just collected them in there. This on the side says Halls 1993 Series uh, 7 is what it says on there in ink there. So some of these boxes have writing on them. So let's see what's in this one. That's pretty neat. Halls Motor Transit Company. It's a little slip that's in there. It's a little black truck. Little single axle. I'll take this one out for you guys. It's pretty good looking little truck. Die cast. Not a lot of detail on the front grill there. Takes are complete. Little detail on the axles. Okay, so the next one coming up is number eight. So far, so good.
Let's see what's in it. Oh, that's neat. It's got the little Winross card. Styrofoam sheet. Lion moving in storage. Good looking. It's got that low load for like the moving trucks do. Doors open on that as well. Moving on to number nine. This is also Highway Pioneer historical series number nine. Oh, that's cool. I've seen a few of these uh, advertisements in the trucks as I have been showing them to you guys. McLean, little styrofoam insert. little single axle also they're all kind of so far the same you know early these earlier trucks these little single axles so far it looks like there is a blue certificate in the back also might just be blue box but when you go to uh, the eBay store you'll find more information on them and the detailed pictures Okay, so this, uh, that was number nine. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine. So here's number 10. So far, so good. Now, some of them are spelled out, and some of them actually have the numbers on them. I don't know if that's significant or not. Uh, it seems like the older ones have it actually spelled out. So this is number 10. And it looks like it's Texaco. It's got the Winross certificate in it. Texaco. The first edition series. Number 10. So yeah, I think these ones that are actually spelled out are first editions. The ones with the numbers on them are not going to be first edition. Let's see what else we got in here. Just some styrofoam. Oh, it's a little Texaco tanker. It's pretty. Nice. Let's take a look at that trailer. It's heavy. Not sure what that does. Not a lot of detail on the pipe, so this would be a gas. A little gas tanker. And it's dual axle. Let's take that one out since it's the first one we'll come across. It's dual axle. Pretty good detail on that one. Nice lights and headlights. Pretty good detail underneath. Okay, so that's number 10. It's amazing we got all these, uh, you know, kind of Bolo products out there in storage and these have been moving great so apparently there's a lot of collectors that probably collected these back in the day that are just missing certain numbers and stuff here's number 11 this is the heaviest one i've picked up so far so let's see what's inside there the first edition series by winross number 11. It's got the Winross certificate in it. CF Motor Freight. Styrofoam. It's another little double. That's why it's so heavy. It's got the truck dolly in there. Beautiful paint. Little single axle. It's got mud flaps on it. Nice little rig.
my ring light's putting off quite a bit of reflection. Okay, so, and here's where things start getting uh, a little bit strange. This one is number 10. So we're going to go back. Let me see. That's number 10 spelled out that I showed you before that 11. Now here's another one that just has number 10 on it. it has just the number. So it's a little bit different. Somebody wrote Johnson on the box. <clears throat> and they wrote Johnson there. All right, let's check it out. It looks, looks to be older, actually, than the first editions, but I guess it couldn't be. It has the uh, little Winross certificate in it. it. has the Johnson. I mean, it's... This is actually frameable. I don't know if you could put it in you know your collection with uh behind it or something but definitely usable or maybe if you're just displaying it put it in the back of the box anyway let's take a look at the truck it's another little single axle pretty paint job on it Opening doors on the back. It's number 10. And here is another 11. This is the one that I showed you that said 11 on it. And this one is number 11. As you can see right there. So let's take a look. That's pretty. It's got the Winross certificate. Little cover page. Centralia. Cartridge Central, Illinois. And it's got all the tells you about the product on the back there. Right, let's this off. It's a little double axle. Little tanks on it. Nice print job. There's that one. Alright, so next up we have number 12. That was number 11. Let me just move some of these because we're getting pretty high. So here's number 12. And I, when I went through this series, there was a few 13s, but different colored boxes. So I haven't, I haven't actually opened and looked at all of them yet, but we'll find out as we go. So this one is just number 12. Highway Pioneer. Historical series. Inside we've got the Winross Certificate. Leeway Motor Freight. Pretty good looking little picture and the styrofoam insert it's a black truck dual axle this one has a little different packaging it's rounded hard plastic in there some of them have uh, some of the other ones that I've, I've glanced in that were lighter are missing some of the styrofoam pieces which I'll put in there to keep it from moving around when you guys buy these Okay, so here's another number 12, but this one has a red Win Ross on it. Highway Pioneer Series 12 by Win Ross. So I don't know the difference between the red and the blue. I just put them together because I was missing numbers. It's another Leeway Motor Freight Styrofoam and the certificate. Looks similar to that other black truck that we just looked at. One has that little piece on the top wind louver and 
So we got another number 12 coming up. We'll see if it's the same. Same thing, it says number 12. It's the other one I just showed you. Yeah. Leeway Motor Freight. Got the styrofoam and the certificate. I got a lot of neat stuff to show you guys. I picked up some uh, picked up some Hot Wheels, some old ones, and I picked up some superhero Hot Wheels as well. It's going to be a while before we get into those because we're trying to get through all these trucks. Same little rig, dark green, that I just showed you from Leeway Motor Freight. So I guess there was a couple of colors the collector got. So that was number 12, and so now we're getting into these 13s. This one's a little smaller box. First, ed first edition series by Wynn Ross, number 13. That's pretty. It's a good looking picture. Might be a sticker, I don't know. Looks like a sticker. No? I think it's just a just a picture. And it opens. Oh, look at there. So it's a little pamphlet inside there. Look at there, it's a tanker. So this one is a silver mobile tanker. Let's take a look at this one. Good detail. Little mud flaps on there with printing on them. I would imagine these were a ton of work. Probably they don't make them anymore. But I still haven't had a chance to go online and see if there's still manufacturers around or even if Wynn Ross is still around. So here's another number 13. Let me find out if they're the same. A little lighter blue than the last one. And it doesn't say the first edition, so there's the difference in those. Yeah, it's different. Win Ross <clears throat> Heinz. And again, that's a it's a little pamphlet. Double axle. Well done. So in this series, there's three more over here I'm going to show you. This next one is in a little different box. It's red. <clears throat> it says number 14. So I'm going to have to find out what the difference is. I'm sure it's the year. Cooper Jarrett Inc. Nice heavy little truck. Highway Pioneer number 15. So I have two 15s left. One says 15 here and the other one is spelled out down here. It's historical. Let's see what we got. styrofoam and North America kind of a plain little white truck but unique Let's see if we can get that part there we go see it better now complete tanks good detailing on it
Looks like that bag goes actually over that sticker. Okay, so here's the last one I'm going to show you today. This one is a large box and it says the first edition, number 15, spelled out difference in there probably the year let's see weirder so that's number 15 oh warner can't read half the cursive on there that the uh, collector wrote on the box nice packaging says when ross back there to get that off there it's cool it's got uh, looks like a flatbed with a train car on it it's a neat one first edition okay everybody that's the trucks I'm gonna show you today I've got uh, I'll go ahead and pick this up I've got some other uh, I've got some other when Ross is over here, I'm actually holding this back part of this uh, little Hot Wheels city up with two of them, <laughs> so it wouldn't fall over. But there's some definitely some older Win Ross in here. There's more back there, and I've got these three oddballs right here: Travelport, Win Ross, Signs of Our Times, and the Nostalgia series. Those are the only three that the boxes didn't match anything. These under here are older Win Ross boxes. But anyway, that's what I got for you guys today. I'll get into these. Uh, I think I can get all these in the next video that I shoot and put up. But that's what I have for you today. Uh, we're still trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can get. Uh, so I can get some auctions going online so you guys can help us out with that great not understand but that's what I got for you today thanks for watching